I've probably heard the following or something similar a thousand times. Vaughan, my, my woods weren't working. I couldn't hit the ball off the ground. So I practiced my three wood and it works. I can hit the ball straight and high from the fairway. But the problem is I can't hit my irons anymore. All one year is the following. Oh, I'm so happy I can finally hit my irons. I'm not hitting any sockets anymore. I'm really hitting the ball pure. The par threes are going well. But the problem now is I can't hit my driver from the tee. If you've had similar thoughts in the past or in the present, I'd like to explain to you today why that happens and how you could preferably train in the future so that you can play your irons and your woods equally well. So why is it challenging to hit your long clubs consistently well? I've got a three wood here. And then at the same time, have success with your irons, mid to long irons. I need a practicing here. So here are the reasons, or the ones I think are the cause for being good at one and not at the other. The first thing has got to do with the stance. Now the lie angle of the club will cause you to automatically be more upright with your longer clubs and then more bent over with your irons. Now the more bent over position will automatically help you, cause you to swing steeper with the shorter clubs, which isn't a great thing if you've got a long club in your hands, because obviously the downswing is going to be too steep. And on the other hand, standing too upright with your shorter irons might cause you to rotate too much. Um, ah, many things can happen. It's essential that you stand according to what club you've got in your hands. It really can affect you. So if you've been practicing one club for a long time, just remember, when I place my club on the ground, that'll tell me how bent over or not I should stand because it really has consequences. The next important point is that your iron swing will almost always be shorter than your wood or driver swing. Now having a shorter backswing is definitely advantageous when you've got an iron in your hands, but it might not be right with a wood. Um, the problem with a too short backswing is that can cause timing issues. It could cause you to really hit at the ball. A fuller, longer turn uh, is mostly a lot more beneficial for the longer clubs. And then when hitting your woods, because the club is longer, you automatically gonna have more swing speed. The problem is that a lot of players, when playing the longer clubs, will hit harder. It might work, but when you've got your shorter irons in your hands, then softer arms, a slower swing, a better rhythm, will definitely help you to hit more greens. Now the last very important point is the angle of attack. If you practice woods for a while, you definitely won't be doing that. You'll hit them with a more sweeping move. You'll probably hit the ground with the sole of your club. And uh, that'll give you better contact, that'll help you to start the ball on a higher trajectory. But doing that with the, with the irons might cause you to hit your balls fat or to top them. As you know, you have to hit the ball on the way down when you've got an iron in your hand. And on the other hand, swinging too steeply 
when using your woods could all first of all cause uh, divots to occur but it'll, it'll cause the ball to receive too much backspin and it'll probably shoot up into the sky. So the next time you invest a lot of your time in one club and, and that's absolutely fine. If you have driver issues then practice driver for a whole weekend uh, but then you just must know when you have a shorter club or an iron in your hands you're probably going to have to bend over more. You're probably going to have to tilt more on the backswing and not rotate so much. You'll probably have to swing a bit shorter and slower. And of course the opposite is the case if you've been practicing irons for a long time. Just know you've got to stand more upright. It's more of a rotational swing. It's a longer swing and it's more of a sweeping movement through impact. Those are really important reasons why you might be hitting one club well and the other not so well. And I'd say the most important part of this is how bent over do I need to stand when playing the shot with either club. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you soon.